So I get a call from corporate and they tell me they're implementing lean office processes throughout all of the regional offices. I told them I don't know what dieting has to do with productivity. They told me that it was a Japanese efficiency system. <laughs> Those Japanese. I mean, all of them are skinny, so they must know what they're doing, right? Anyway, this consultant comes in today, and I need to get ready. Michael Scott? Yes. I'm Matt Foley, the Lean Office Consultant. Oh. Domo arigato, Mr. Folbato. I'm Michael Scott, and I'm ready for my workout. I don't know what that means. Why are you wearing gym shorts? I thought this office was on a mission to get lean. Woo! Lean process is about optimizing your systems. It's not an exercise plan. why corporate keeps sending mixed messages. I mean, I took my creatine this morning, was jacked up for a workout, and now I have to talk sales? Also, can I tell you a secret? Get closer. Get closer. I don't think he's Japanese. So Michael, take me through your ordering process. Well, Matt, our people are our process. That's what makes Dunder Mifflin so great. A customer calls up and the lovely Pamela Beasley answers the call. She takes the order and relays it to our sales specialist, Mr. Jim Halpert. We require two signatures on our completed order, so Jim and Dwight then discuss on how to proceed with the order. Dwight is certain he is right and does the research to show Jim why that's so. Then we have a staff meeting to determine if Dwight is right. Dwight then hands out a written order to everyone who has taken an order from this customer before. Everyone then fills out their own copy of the order so it doesn't get lost. Ryan then picks one out at random. Oscar does math. Kevin uh, Stanley has to wait till business hours are open in Spain to get any legal advice. We then hold another meeting to get a status update on any legal or financial issues because we do not want any bottlenecks. That's why our vending machine only has cans. Phyllis checks the spelling. Pam then tells Jim the sale is ready to be announced. Jim then tells Dwight the sale is ready to be announced. Dwight tells everyone the sale is ready. Then we have one last staff meeting to celebrate the sale. Cake and punch. Mandatory around here. Um, seriously? That's your process? I know, it's great, isn't it? It took us months to perfect. Well, I think we need to talk about just-in-time processing. What we're going to do is apply Lean Systems examples to your system. We're going to focus in on eliminating waste and streamlining your processes. In Lean Systems, there are seven forms of waste, called MUDAs. Up until this point, I had never seen a single process that had all seven MUDAs. Well, we are unique here at Thunder Mifflin. Having multiple people fill out the exact same form is overproduction waste. Unnecessary touch points cause delay. Moving a form around multiple people does not make sense. Physically handing out paperwork is inefficient and can be optimized using email. This is a wasteful form of motion. Storing orders in process is both inefficient and wasteful. Holding three staff meetings to discuss the same transaction is an example of overprocessing. Picking the winning order form by random lot is a process defect. You should find a way to select the highest quality form. So we had this awesome guy from corporate come in to teach us about lean processes today. And you know, it was awesome. We simplified our ordering process. And now I have nothing to do. It's great. I love lean processes. You know what? I bet we could come up with an even better system. Call it Skinny Office. That way, when another branch says, 
lean office processes are great, we'll say, oh yeah, we're a skinny office. Although we don't condone bulimia. Puke's gross. Anyway, lean office changed my life and I'll never look at processes the same again. Well, lean office processes, now this is a really effective tool because you know, if you think about it economically, that enhances total factor productivity. Now, think back to that long run aggregate supply curve. That sucker just moves to the right as that TFP goes out and lean office processes take hold, expand the economy, and is just blissful. Thanks, Adam and Steve. So we're always using these lean processes for our registration process. But you guys are changing them around all the time. Thanks anyway, Adam and Steve. Boy, Steve and Adam's strategy for deployment of the lean office, that skinny office, really works. It's got me thinking completely differently about boards of directors. These guys deserve an A for this project. I strongly encourage you to give them an A and a round of applause. The skinny office is the office of the future.